And so it begins! We Romans never seek war, but having come to battle, we will not leave until it is over! Today we fight against monsters. The Gauls, they are dangerous, mad, and hairy beyond reason. In victory, they are always heartless. They will seek to trick us, but we must be alert and crush these weaklings. There is no shame in fear. There is only shame in letting fear rule you. Try not to look scared, and you'll find Come bravery in. in your heart! Understood. Today, the carrion birds feast, but they will feast upon our enemies, not on good Roman flesh! Julius Caesar is, by any definition, a successful Roman general and politician. In a series of brilliant campaigns, he has defeated many Gallic tribes and brought new lands into the Roman Empire. His Roman legionaries, veterans of many battles, take pride in their skill and valor. Vercingetorix, the leader of the Avernii tribe, has revolted against Roman rule. For once, Caesar has been overtaken by events, forced to react rather than forge his own destiny. It is now one year later, and the rebellion is not yet crushed. At Jagovia, the Gauls are ready, watching the Roman army on a nearby hill. Wary of being ambushed, Caesar has sent Roman legionaries to the far side of Jagovia to watch for any encircling enemies. But the Gauls are equally suspicious and send their entire army to watch over the marching Romans. A small Roman detachment is ambushed and destroyed by Gallic warriors. Seeing that the Gauls have abandoned their camp, Caesar orders his troops towards the fort. Units! Attack! of Caesar's attack reaches the Gauls, they move to counter the Romans. And Caesar, in 
turn, recognizes the new danger and sounds the retreat. appear not to have heard the new orders. Instead, the Romans charge the fort. Caesar's men suddenly find themselves on dangerous ground, surrounded by angry Gauls. Men of stone and iron and lies. There can be 